In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your hen enabled PS3 from 4.89 or lower to 4.90. So a little bit back, Sony released official firmware 4.90, basically didn't really do much except update Blu-ray keys, but because of it, we needed to wait a little bit until the community created 4.9 hybrid firmware and re-enabled hand support before we could update to it. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the updating process so that way you could be on the latest firmware as well as maintaining your hand support for homebrew and backup launching. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, there are a couple things we're gonna need. The first of which being a USB flash drive or hard drive. I recommend something that's 32 gigabytes or under just for easier use because it'll let you default format it to FAT32 and not need any external programs. So there's a lot of options to choose from if you have flash drives lying around, like just you could try formatting them to FAT32, make sure they're picked up by your PS3. It's just the most ideal solution. So I've used something like this PNY 32 gigabyte one before and it worked just fine. Today I'm actually using a four gigabyte flash drive that's like super generic, but it works for my needs. So we're gonna go with it. Next, we're gonna get some things downloaded to make the update process easier. The first of which being the latest version of Webman Mod. Link to the download page for this will be in the description below, but just go ahead and grab the latest installer package here. And big thank you to Aldo's Tools for continuing to support Webman Mod. Just such a great program for the PS3 scene. And next we're gonna download the PS3 Hen Hybrid Firmware for 4.90. So link to this will be in the description below and big thank you to Juni for creating this. Just freaking amazing. And once these are downloaded, just go ahead and get your USB drive plugged into your computer. And then you just need to make sure that it is formatted in FAT32. So again, if it's under 32 gigabytes, you could just click on the format thing here in Windows, make sure it's FAT32. And then just perform a quick format to make sure that it is all set. There we go. So from here, we're just gonna add the Webman mod package for installing. and then get the hybrid firmware extracted. And then just drag the PS3 folder into the root of your USB drive. Now it is worth noting if you're going to go through with the 4.9 hybrid firmware, it is going to break Blu-ray disc playback by default just because of what they needed to change in the firmware to get the WebKit exploit re-enabled. So do be aware of that. When you go through with this, you will no longer be able to play Blu-ray discs by default until you restore these three files. But once you have the latest version of Webman Mod and the PS3 hybrid firmware update on your USB, we can just go ahead and close out of this and move the USB drive over to our PS3. So now over on your PS3, get it booted up and get HEN enabled on your 4.89 or lower console. And there we go. So now I'm just gonna plug the USB drive into my PS3. And there we go, it's detected by the PS3. So first things first, we're gonna head into the package manager and update Webman. So we're gonna click on install package files and then go down to standard and we will see Webman mods update installer right here. So just go ahead and run that. And there we go, install complete, and we can see that we now have a new uh, Webman icon here. If you wanna run the Webman mod installer again, you can hold down L1 for the full edition or just press cross for light edition. But I didn't really have to do this. Everything just worked right from the beginning after just installing the initial package again. But now it is time to install our updated hybrid firmware. So heading over to the system settings here, system update, choose update via storage media. And you should be greeted by the following update data was found, version 4.90.1 hybrid firmware, hybrid and exploitable location USB drive. So just click on okay and let the install process do its thing. Accept the user agreement. 
start. And once the update process is finished, we are ready to get Henry enabled on our PS3 systems. So just head over to your web browser here. And if you've previously set up Hen, you probably already have everything set up that you need to do, but just to go over it again, head into tools, confirm browser closed, turn this off, delete your cookies, Delete your cache. Change your homepage address to about blank. So you can click on use blank page to do this. Then press OK. And then you can close out of the browser. Open it back up. And then just press start on your controller and go to PS3 exploit. Dot M E. And you'll get a warning about how the newest version of Hen has some compatibility issues with some older plugins, and it is recommended to update to Webman Mod 1.47.44 before doing the upgrade to PS3 Hen 3.2.0, which we have already done. So you can just click on OK there. Now, if for whatever reason the PS3 exploit site is not loading for you, PSX Place has a PS3 exploit website server status page that you can go to. So link to this will be in the description below for you to see if the site is actually online or if your ISP happens to be blocking it. But from here, we can head up to PS3 Hen, click on Hen Auto Installer. And from here, it'll begin downloading some stuff for us. So one thing that I recommend doing is to actually make the PS3 Hen auto installer a bookmark in case of a failed auto install attempt. So you could do this by pressing the select button on your controller and press add to bookmarks. And then it'll add it to your bookmarks automatically. So I already had it here, so there we go. But go ahead and click on auto install Hen. It's probably gonna fail for me on this one because of this extra tab being open on the side there. So we'll see what happens. Nope, there we go, hand failure, restart PS3 and retry. All right, cool. So about what I expected since that extra page was already open, but that is just fine. So we'll go ahead and restart the PS3. All right, now that the PS3 is restarted, I'm gonna go back over to the web browser. It loaded up to my default blank page, so now I'm just gonna open up my uh, bookmarks here and go to the PS3 Hen auto installer page. Don't need to download the thing again because we already got it, so auto install Hen, and this time we should have a bit more success. And there we go, PS3 Hen installed, and now it's just gonna download all the package files we need to get everything going. And once the download completes, just go ahead and press back, let it install. And once the install's complete, the system will automatically reboot, so just let it do its thing. And there we go, PS3 Hen updated and installed for version 4.90. So from here, you could just re-enable Hen like you always did, and you're back up and running with all of your previously available stuff.
So, for example, there's all my games that I have stored on my RetroNAS server, all ready to go and be played. Like, it's great stuff. And then any homebrew you happen to have downloaded will just start running again, like... Nice and painless to get updated to the latest version. Now, just as an additional word of warning, if you happen to have a lot of plugins in use on your PS3 hand consoles, according to Escort Do, there are a number of plugins that might cause freezing issues, one of them being older webman mods, which is why we updated it before installing. But if for whatever reason your PS3 continues to freeze while trying to use HEN, you can hold down the R2 button while HEN is enabling to bypass plugins, or you can use the USB drive that you installed your hybrid firmware with and make a blank boot plugins.txt file on the drive so that way there are no plugins loaded as HEN is enabling and then you can go in and sort out which one is causing your issue. I personally don't use any plugins other than the ones that come pre-installed with HEN and Webman Mod, so updating Webman Mod was all I really needed to do. And just a reminder, as always, if you plan to take your homebrew-enabled PS3s online, make sure that you clear your log files before doing so, so the hotkey with Webman Mod installed is R2 and Triangle to clear those custom firmware files and syscalls. But that's going to do it for the purposes of this video. So now you are upgraded to the latest official firmware version and have HEN once again restored so you can continue to use your backup loading and any homebrew applications that you enjoy. But thank you so much as always for watching this video. And here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like this video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keeping it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for believing in what we do here and helping us keep it going. Y'all are the truest of champs and we couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.